What bourbons are going to make it into round two of the NFL Bourbon Madness? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new video. Today we are doing our second day of round one games. We've got four more head-to-head -head matchups to see which bourbon is going to move on to round number two and which one is getting kicked to the curb. Now as always you guys will know what bottle and what team are going head-to-head. I will only know the number corresponding to the bourbon and well if 12 wins and 5 loses while well, 5 gets thrown 12 goes into the winner's box. Make sure you guys drop that like leave a comment down below if your team is still in the NFL Bourbon Madness or if you are bandwagoning a bourbon with a team. Also make sure to smash that subscribe button and also make sure you check the link out down below. We've got a couple bottles left of the private select barrel of my personal first barrel pick and it is live for absolutely anybody link is in the description below if you guys want the entire description of the bourbon itself is right here for you all the information link is down in the description so if you aren't part of the patreon it doesn't matter at this point there are only a handful of bottles left for you guys so make sure you go get that while supplies last now without further ado let's get into our first one o'clock game all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first one o'clock game and we've got team number 12 on the left and team number five on the right. Like I said, you will know what team and what bourbon I am sipping. And we always start on the left, but today we're going to start on the right. So here we go. Quick nose. It's all about what this palette has to offer. So let's see which one moves on. I like this nose. It's soft. It's chocolatey. It's got a little touch of like an espresso note. It's got a little bit of like a weeder nose, but I could be like way off on that. A little bit of a darker cherry. Let's get into the palette. That's got a little bit more proof to it. But I don't think that the... It's... Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. It's really, really flavorful. But it had this weird aspect to it that I just wasn't maybe the biggest fan of. I like it, but I don't like it. I love it, but I don't love it. There's a lot going on in this glass where it says, this is absolutely fantastic. And then it says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I'm not the best thing in the world. Let's move on to team number two, which is team number 12, actually. So on the left-hand side, let's get into the notes. My, a lot more grape notes coming off of this. Darker fruits. It smells softer, a little bit less proofy. I, don't, I would say maybe like in the 105 to 110 range on the proof on that. I like the nose a lot. It's more traditional. I get a little bit of a soft, subtle oak. Let's get into the palate. That's so much more balanced. It's packed more full of flavor. It's got, I wouldn't say it's proofier, but if it is proofier, that's helping this out a little bit more in my personal opinion because it's just it, it has a better mouthfeel better um it's got more quality on the mouth the it's it's soft but it's thick and viscous it's got a lot going on for it so i don't even need to get back into whatever team five is team 12 is moving on to round number two all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our second one o'clock game for the day. And on our left, we have team 19. And on our right, we have team six. We were on our right on the first round. We're going to start on our left for the second round. And let's find out what team 19 has to offer on the nose. This is, I'm going to say right now for the nose, it's like a wild turkey nose, but it, I could be way off on that. Orangey notes, but it, it's musty. It's dusty. A little peanut note. I could be off on that wild turkey. I kind of take that back. Earthy and like sweet. Very sweet. Almost like a popcorn note on this. Let's get in the palate. Very traditional. Vanillas and caramels coming off of this. A little bit of a bite on the tip of my tongue brings me a little bit of a, like a white pepper note. Not a lot of uh, oaky presence on this. It's good. It's not great. Let's move on to uh, team number six. Ooh, that's really nice. That is dark fruits like plums and apricots and uh, a little bit of a dried, like sweet orange on there. There was a lot of fruit notes on this that I really, really liked. A raisiny quality, like a raisin bread with a little bit of rye spice in there. 
I love that nose. Let's get into the palette. Oh yeah, that's killer. That is killer. Whatever Team 6 is, is absolutely phenomenal. <sighs> Team 19 has a really nice nose. It smells fantastic. But Team 6, the palette, it's viscous. It's 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 rye forward, but I don't know if it's a rye. Oh, I gotta go back. It, it's chocolatey. I get like a dark chocolate note. Pumpernickel bread and grapes. For some reason, those are marrying so well into this that I really, really like it. I'm gonna give this one one more chance. It's got this little bit of this I don't like bite and dry and uh, like a bitterness on the tip of my tongue that I'm just not the biggest fan of. And I'm not quite sure why I, it, it brings in a little bit of this white pepper note that I'm not a fan of. So team number six is moving on to round number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our four o'clock scheduled games for the afternoon. And here we are, we've got team 16 on the right and team 23 on the left. We went right, left, now we're starting on our right. Let's get in the nose of team 16 and see what this bad boy is all about. Here we go. Honey notes, a little bit of a mapley quality, a little richer on the nose, a little, a little darker vanilla notes. It smells a little bit darker and more pungent. I like the nose a lot. Let's get in the palette. Warm, soft, pancakey notes, a touch of a maple, but it does bring a little bit more of a minerality into it. And I do taste like a little bit of something that I'm not the biggest fan of. Let's move on to team 23 on the left. Grapey qualities again, I'm getting a lot of grape. A little darker, more like a rye bread with a little bit of a buttery note on there. Orangey note, orange marmalades. Let's get into the palate. Oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. That's fantastic actually. Oh yeah, that's good. It's, a, I think, a little bit lower proof, but it is packed full of just really nice sweet oak that just wraps around your tongue. Doesn't bring a bitterness out of it, but what it does is it saturates it and it dries it out. It's got a lot, a lot of tannic beauty, beautifulness. I can't even speak, but it's so nice. And then it just makes you salivate and make this one right here makes you want to go back in for a sip after a sip after a sip because it's just so darn like it's dry but it's beautiful it makes you really want to go back in and enjoy everything this has to offer leathery notes with a little bit of a, a richer espresso cappuccino with a little touch of cinnamon this brings a lot forward and i really really enjoy whatever's in 23 and uh, 23 is the goat's number we're moving on with team 23 and uh, team 16 is kicking the curve ladies and gentlemen it is time for our prime time game it is our eight o'clock game for the evening and we've got team 22 on the left and team 31 on our right if you guys have enjoyed this so far and if you have seen any upsets make sure you guys smash that like button leave that comment down below if your team is still in it or if you are bandwagoning make sure you smash that subscribe button like i said please please help me out and uh go check out that link down below for the barrel pick we've got a couple bottles left but let's without further ado i think we went right then we went left then we went right and now we are still ending this round one day two with team 22 on the nose let's see what it's all about that's really interesting grassy notes like um like fresh cut grass on a spring morning i enjoy this nose a lot this is really really nice soft hay bales like like i get a lot of earthy floral notes on this lavender why i'm getting so many floral notes let's get in the palette and see if it follows suit it's so lovely marshmallowy it's got a little bit more of like a campfire vibe to it i enjoy that so much on the nose and following into the palette it's got a dry chocolate note. It's got so much going for it that it is absolutely wonderful. And I don't know if Team 31 has a chance, but we've got to give it a chance because this one was a heavy hitter and scored 
right on that first drive. Let's get in the nose on 31. Oh my God, why? Are, this might be one of the more difficult blinds that I've done head to heads on the oh, between these so far. Honeydew melon. This this has a little bit like a pineapple note to it. Pineapples and melons. Caramel vanilla. This is probably the best nose we've had so far. It's very, very inviting and it makes you want to go into it so far and just dive into whatever this has to offer. But we've got to get in the palate and let's see what 31 tastes like. That's really, really nice. But I just don't know if the palate is enough to combat what this team over here, I can't remember, 22, has to offer. Team 22 is so good. But Team 31 is right there too. It's a little proofier. I don't know if that proof is bringing anything that is more substantial to the competition than 22. 22 is a ground and pound. Just run the ball right up the middle and you're getting four or five yards every single time you do it. Whereas 31 is trying to make those big flashy plays down the field, big post routes, 35, 40 yard plays. But those don't win games. It's in the trenches. And I think with that, I've got to give the W to 22 because it's just all around a better built bottle of bourbon or rye, whatever is in this right here. 22 moves on to round two and team 31 is the loser. So there you guys have it. Round one, day two is in the books. We've got team 12, team 23, team six, and team 22 moving on to round number two. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Leave that comment down below. Click that like button if you enjoyed it. Click the link below for my first barrel pick. It is open to the public. And until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.